Robert will see you now. Please come in. Mrs. Page, we're delighted to see you. Sir Robert. We've heard about the good work you've been doing in Europe. We need help with the French to go to Paris to haggle over farm prices. I thought Sir Michael was in charge. No, Sir Michael has broken his neck out riding. I hope he's all right. Oh, he's fine, but not up to haggling, particularly with the French, which involves a great deal of shaking your head. Okay. Good. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Not at all. You'll be brief. I thought you were in Strasbourg. No. Isn't it Thursday? Yes, but it's not the right week. No, I hate you. You don't believe it. Every time I say it, you think it's because of something you've done. The latest incident, whatever it is. You think that when the incident is over, ah, well, the hatred will be over. But it won't. It's you that I hate. What you are, what you represent. Drink and cowardice in equal parts. The whole dreary mixture disgusts me. You better get going, you're late for the house. these community awards to these fine men who've done so much to help so many newcomers to fit into the host community. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. But you see, Mrs. Page, we know you are sincere. Yes. Although your politics are not ours, we know you work very hard as our European MP. But we are not sure what the common market does for people like us. Yes. Yes, I can see. Be careful, your baby is falling. Yes, you may think, what has this parliament, miles away in Strasbourg, got to do with me? How does it actually affect my daily life? I found working in Europe, I've begun to care passionately. The parliament actually embodies an ideal, peace and prosperity in Europe. And this is something in which I think we all believe. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very nice to meet you. We're very pleased to have such a star represent us. Thank you. Let me find you a cab. Excuse me, I wonder, 
Do you think I could go out the back way? God, you scared me. No idea what you mean. Morning, Gunas, I'm sorry. Calm down. I am sorry. Calm down. I tried to He's get here earlier. Me. It's madness. It's all right. The traffic is impossible. I can't tell you what it's like. Been having a wonderful time. My darling, how are you? Mm, I was going to come yesterday, but I just got so busy. Hello, Mum. He's been fine. Did you miss me? Hmm? I'm sorry, but the worst is over. I promise you that. Look, they're from Fortnum's, the gooey ones you like. What's this? Did you make it? Well, mostly. Would you like a cup of tea? Please. I'll show you. It's just been hectic with all this enabling legislation. It has to be taken through point by point. Will you show me? They just dumped it in my lap and said, look, use the summer recess to go through it. Well, it's nice to be needed. <laughs> yes, it isn't all bad. And what about you? You've had a new haircut. It does look attractive. Clara, I'm your sister. It's a perfectly ordinary haircut, neither good nor bad. I don't need flattery. You have my vote. The minister at four to discuss new European legislation. There's a drinks party for the road transport lobby at six. Uh -huh. Can you see the diary? Also, yes. A man's been calling the office. He says he's a friend of yours. His name's if it's or I think it is. The answer is no. So did you have a nice time at Pauline's? No. I know you did. You always do. You always say you prefer it to home. Thank you. You do. In a way, my little boy. Do you want these? Uh, yes. And Sandra, the stuff about education? Yes, it's here. Yes, leave it there. I'll go through it later. How was school? Horrible. Simon, you do make me laugh. Hold on. It's all right. I'll get it. Hello. Come in. Hello, kids. I like your haircut. I heard you got away today. Sorry, old boy. I've got to spend the weekend in my constituency listening to a lot of people moan. If I could, I'd bring up Simon in the country. Simon's in here. He's been looking for me. He's here, Simon. It's Delia. Hello, Simon. Here are all your friends. Will you play with me? Yes. Come on, Delia. 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 I'm sorry. No. About yesterday. I went too far. Arthur, is the page? Yes, I'm coming. If we just had some time. Your car's here. Anyway, here, give your mother a kiss. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Hello, Hello how nice. How are you? Jack! You're a bit late. I know. I had to give out some community awards. Thank God you do take it seriously. Meeting the people. I like it. I do lots of it. Isn't it meant to be part of the job? Yes, it is. Is this the right way? Through here, through here. Clara, we've given up hope of you. Adam! Where? 
They tell me you're today's star. Me the star? No, aren't you? Don't you see you everywhere? <laughs> me, not really. Come on, my dear, how are you? This came for you. Thank you. Television, radio, seems to be you on every channel. Adam's exaggerating. The man was wearing a very strange suit. Still, I suppose if there has to be a new wave, it's best it looks like you. What? Oh, yes. The classic text of 17th century conservatism. Hadn't we better sit down? Clara? Michael. It's nice to see you. You're getting very big. <laughs> Nobody's big in England. So you better tell me, what do you want? I've heard the Jack Absalom Society was having a weekend. And what is it, by the way? Conservative philosophy group. High-powered, plainly. Just old friends, that's all. Taking time off, Michael, between busy schedules to discuss philosophical issues. Yes. To be frank, the only reason I'm here is because I read about your group in the paper. I wanted to talk to you. Talk to me? Business. Now, look, Michael, please. So I just to hear me out, it's nothing like last time. Michael, I have this fear of prison. Is that unreasonable for a member of the European Parliament? Look, there's no question of that. I have a scheme in the field of microchip technology. I could explain. I think it would go over your head. In some ways, it goes over mine. But the result would be an all-British wristwatch, which is also a television as well. Michael, do you realize how much capital investment is the, needed for, for microchip work? Not for research. For research, you just need a bloke, which I have. A friend of mine who is a genius. You'd like him. Honestly. In Wales, you can pick up these government grants. From Gerald and you, I want less than a quarter. 80,000 at most. In return, you wouldn't hear from me. Till I repaid you, of course. Is there a prospectus? What? A prospectus. Have you written out a specification for the project? Oh, really? Would you think... Do you really need that? Given what you know of me? Or to put it more directly? Yes? What I know of you. Say I know who you are. What? Just say it. Have you rung my flat? I wouldn't dream of ringing you. What? You mean without saying who I was? Yes, all right. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Clara! My money! Give me a few days. I need time to think. I told him to go into Merchant Conservatives. <laughs> yes, so I heard. Uh, Toby. I saw him three weeks ago. Tell me, are, are you thinking of giving your house over to Matt for time? Are you all right? Do you think they'll pay? And would you be able to keep part of it for yourself? No, no. I'm so, I'm only sorry your wife couldn't make it. Weren't you two at school? Be well. 
Have you heard? She's having another baby. Goodness, don't you? Six. Now we're going to have seven. I believe in practicing what I preach. <laughs> After all, my book on the family... I was hoping to get time to read it. The basic conservative unit, am I right? Well, certainly you seem to think so. When's the baby due? Uh, Any time now. In fact, uh, very probably tonight. Look here. This way, I can go for a walk. When it beeps, I know the baby's coming. Well, yes. Of course, it could be the PM. <laughs> One of you. I see. But where is she beeping from? What? <laughs> Angela. I, I leave her at home. Oh, yes, I do think people finally know. I mean, people know what to do. Their gut instinct tells them. If you listen to that, in my view, you won't go far wrong. I mean, I can remember when I was a socialist. <laughs> oh, right, quite a lot of historians were. Now, then there was always this agony. Should I do this? Oh, I wonder, is this right? Is this wrong? Oh, and then when I saw the light, I do remember this weight being lifted, no more having to think, not wasting one's life in uncertainty and guilt. Do what you want to, surely. Yeah, yeah. That's the basis of freedom. At this table, surely. That's what everyone wants. I've decided no, that's the end of it. Clara? Absolutely not, I won't pay. What happened this evening was blackmail. I... Please let me finish. Because you think you can bring up my past and ruin my career. But I promise you, you have no such power. Michael, I'm calling your bluff. Listen. You don't fancy a nightcap. Who's that? It's a well-known philosopher story. <laughs> I'm already in bed. Fine. Good night. Good night. Let us look now at the philosophy of the National Health Service. Oh. It reminds me a story about a woman in Russia. She went to office and said, I want a car. So they said, How dare you come here? Just look around you. Do you have no idea who these people are? I'm trying to keep everything together. I'm working 14 hours a day. I've got a family as well. And I just need money. Clara, you're my last chance. I'm begging you. Excuse me. Please. This must be done quietly. Who is he? I have no idea. so awful it's happened. We wish you wouldn't leave. Look, honestly, it's fine. Please, stay. Are you sure you didn't know him? He seemed to know you. I'm due in Paris. I'm going to be late. Vous avez votre numéro. 
madame. Merci. C'est parti, madame. Oui, c'est une C'est parti. Eh bien, allons-y. I've had to go sooner than I thought. I went straight to the airport. Why? I'll tell you why later. I just had to get out. The thing is, it's just that I promised Simon I'd call by Pauline's tonight and read him a story. If you could go. It's always me. Well, if you can, will you? I'd really be grateful. I'll do it. That's really sweet of you. Thanks. Hello, is it? Clara Page, isn't it? That's right, yes. Oh, I smile at everyone. It's a habit. It's safest for a politician. You have no reason to rem remember, but I'm Willis Sharp. Yes, of course. You helped us with the sighting of a factory in France. How is it? They're about to sell 2,000 of my bedside lights to a chain of French motels. Is that what you do? I can't remember. Yes. I design. Well, that's excellent. That you sold so many? In a way. I'm bored already, thinking of the next thing. I never stick at anything for long. No one. What else? Oui, un moment, je viens. Do you like a drink? I'm afraid no, I... What a drink? Goodness me. No. Hold on, yes, I would. You seem rather light-headed. I was glad to get out of England, that's all. Are you often in Paris? Sadly, no. The Parliament moves between Luxembourg and Strasbourg, both very boring towns. But I was brought up in Birmingham, so it's fine. Is your husband with you? Gerald? No. Gerald's at Westminster. He's too busy. It's a shame. What about you? Oh, I don't really live anywhere, if that's what you mean. It's all a question of where I can work. But my sister's married to a Frenchman, so when I'm in Paris, I stay in their flat. I love being abroad. I feel safe. It's like aeroplanes. From the moment you get on till the moment you leave, no one can get at you. I have. Yes, but you don't want anything, so you don't count. Down here. Ah, oh, there you are. We heard you'd arrive early. It's rather a surprise, but we managed to catch up Hello. with you. If you have any time, I know Paris very well. Yes, call me. If we'd known, we'd have sent you a card. I have all the relevant briefing documents. I've been waiting to see which way the Germans will jump. Oh, yes? The Germans, of course, are notoriously difficult. At least they have been in the past. As for the Belgians, well, I never met a Belgian who didn't understand. I'm sorry. There's something I forgot to say to my friend. Oh, mais non, mais tu en mets trop. Ce sera trop fort. Oh, je ne serai pas. Deux seulement suffisent. Tiens, tu peux t'occuper des poireaux si tu veux. Hello. You see, she's the best Yiddish French cook in Paris. <laughs> mais c'est pas vrai. Que fait le coco au vin? That's a speciality. Vous voyez, je vous l'avais dit. Maman, ce sera délicieux. He is insolent. Very. My sister's not bad as well. Huh. How long are you staying this time? Je sais pas. Deux ou trois jours peut-être. He never stays long. Do you have children? I have a son. Je suis français, quoi. Les fous, moi, la paix, des histoires d'être juif ou pas. À une époque en France, on a appris aux gens à connaître les juifs. 
Et moi, j'ai le sentiment aujourd'hui que ces gens-là, leurs enfants, reconnaissent d'abord les Juifs en toi, pas les Français. Mais ça fait 2000 ans que ça dure. 2000 ans, 2000 ans, non, 80, ça t'arrête, Paul, c'est fini, cette histoire. Are you getting this? Pretty well. Being Jewish means being aware of history. Paul feels a Jew is always going to be a stranger in any country. C'est pas vrai, ça tout a changé depuis. Oui, je comprends cela. On ne sera jamais intégré. On est toujours des invités. Tout ça n'est plus vrai, plus maintenant. Tout a changé. Comme on dit en anglais, nous sommes intégrés. We belong. There are parts of the Mary which never seem to change, in spite of everything. The rest of Paris is ruined. Well, it is, isn't it? It's all overpriced art galleries and banks. This is one of the few decent bits left. And even this is going very fast. So you were always going to be in politics? No, I was in business. My mother died. She left me a couple of houses, property which I rented out. Then Gerald came along with a partner of his and suggested we start a mail order business. That was fine for a while. Business crashed? It was a tight patch during the late 70s. We'd overexpanded. We had to hive off the loss making parts. The dress side got some bad publicity. People who sent checks for goods they never received. But by then it was no longer ours, legally. Who owned it? The partner. It's called Swanton. Swanton? Michael Swanton. A rather sad man. I don't look like that. Yes, you do, to me. Don't you see it? Yes, I do now. How I envy you this, this easiness. Yes, it's fresh air. One hundred and sixty-five Jewish children from this school deported to Germany during the Second World War were exterminated in Nazi camps. Never forget. I have a fantasy now. I shall walk around Paris all night. And when dawn comes, I shall be sitting under the Eiffel Tower to watch him. Then I shall have to go back to work. <laughs> Thank you for the most wonderful night. Do you want me to walk with you? No, not tonight. What are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean? Hey, I'm doing nothing. You are following me.
41, s'il vous plaît. Vous l'avez déjà, madame Non, c'est pas possible, j'ai... Non, j'ai oublié. Oui. Oui, je l'ai. J'ai oublié. Can I help you, madame No. No, not really. Silly, I was panicking. I needed to talk. I've lost my handbag. It isn't... You haven't seen it. You haven't got it. No. We can look. I think, well, I, I had it when I left here. You had it in the cafe, remember? You offered to pay. That's right. That's right, yes, I did. I'd forgotten that. Yes. And then I think, well, I did what I said I was going to do. Do you remember? When I left you, I said I wanted to spend the night sitting under the Eiffel Tower. Did you? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. And did you have your bag? No. Well, yes. Well, perhaps I did. And uh, no, not at the end. That's when I realized. I've been sitting for... What time is it? It's 4.30. I suppose for a couple of hours. Would that be right? Just dreaming. There's a little garden where the lights are that shine on the tower. It's such a lovely garden, and really I was feeling so relaxed, so free. And then I went for a stroll around the base of the tower, looking up, thought, oh, I've left the bag on the seat. But it wasn't there. No. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come, really. I came because I thought it might be here. Also, to be honest. Yes. There was something else. Ah, chérie, qu'est-ce que tu fais ici? J'ai entendu des voix en Kowali. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephanie, there you are. Maman m'a réveillée. Siens-toi, reste là. 
Oh, you came back. Elle a perdu sa pochette. Oh, how terrible. Well, Wallace will help. Other people's lives always seem so attractive. We all feel that. Anyone's life but our own. Yeah, come on. Piss off. Away to bed. You were going to say, just before they came in, something else? Oh, yes. No. Only, well, I've lost everything. Isn't it absurd? Bank book, credit cards, traveler's checks. Is that coffee coming? Yes, the whole lot. They had a look. There are no bags. Oh, well, there we are. Shall we report it? Report it? Yes. Do you mean to the police? Well, surely, yes. I don't see how else you're going to get it back. Did you get all that? Mostly. They're saying it's too early. Can't expect anything. It's probably been stolen, and you'll never see it again. Oh, yes. J'ai pensé cela moi-même. Vous avez marché depuis le Marais jusqu'à la Tour Eiffel. Oui. C'est bien long, ça? Yes. Yes, I know. It's a long way. Philippe, viens ici, viens voir. I didn't notice. Je n'ai pas remarqué. Où avez-vous traversé la Seine? I did cross the river, I must have. I think by Notre Dame. But then I never went near the river again. Ah, Mrs. Page, how wonderful. We've found you. Good morning. How distressing this thing must be. What an awful introduction to Paris. I promise you, untypical. Lawrence. Mr. Sharp has been looking after me. Laissez-moi voir. Foreign office. Good morning. Excellent. Do you mind if I take Mrs. Page? You've been wonderful. Are you off? Mrs. Page has to go now. Thank you. I trust I'll see you again. Au revoir. Here, this is a great thing. It's a government credit card. We have a wonderful deal. They just put your name on. We have what we call a special relationship. It used to be with America. Now it's with American Express. <laughs> You can settle up when you get back to England. I got rather nervous of losing things. Shall I hold on to it for the moment? Oh, and we got you a float. I can manage that, I think. I'm president of the Embassy Amateur Dramatic Society. We've rather a hit on our hands. I just gave you last night's take. How convenient. Yes, well, we're doing sale of aware. The French just love it. I don't know it. I have the best part. There's very little chance of this conference actually coming to anything. They've had 30 of these things. They never work. French government is in permanent thrall to French farmers. They produce too much food and there's an end of it. And no one here dares tell them to stop. These are the documents I think you'll find useful. The tariff agreements. Oh, good. The Brussels wine deal and the Green Pound Transfer Balance Ratification Agreement. Self-explanatory. The minister relies on you. So, when do we start? Nice to see you. Mesdames, Messieurs, le Président de la République. Look at that, bloody barbarians.
Shepard du Maclay, current year. Ah, madame, on vous a appelé toute la journée. You have uh, many messages. They are very urgent. Please, can you get me this number in London? Pauline, is that you? Clara. Thank goodness we found you. What's happened? It's Simon. What? He's been taken to hospital. He was staying at Delia's. What was it? Appendicitis. Is he all right? Clara. You should know. We've been trying to get hold of you. Ever since the middle of last night. I gather... Well, they said you never came back. I must... I just... I must be with him. All I need... Look, it's just a silly thing. I'm short of money. I'll, I'll need to go to the embassy. Then I'll get the first plane. Tell him when he wakes. Three hours. I can do it in three hours. Eight o'clock? Luck. Pauline. Tell the boy I love him very much. I don't think anyone. Well, Lawrence, thank you. I'll tell you there is something, a credit card. Sir Arthur offered it to me today and I meant to take it. Of course. We could have sent it over. Why don't you come through? And landscape, of course. I mean, the French do have landscape. And a lot of it, if you're honest, is really very nice, if you like canals. But, you know, they don't have countryside. I think countryside is something you only really get in England. Countryside, to me, means oaks. Uh, hold on a moment. Come in. Thank you. Do you know that girl over there? Yes, I do. Actually, I've been asked to help look after it. She's a girl whose father's disappeared. I see. She came in completely hysterical. On no evidence. I mean, he's only been gone less than 24 hours. He could be anywhere. But I think we managed to calm her down a bit. You mean... what? She was with him? Yes. In Paris? Why? Well, no, I mean, most people who want, who have some reason to vanish, well, they don't do it with their daughter around. Well, we don't know that he's vanished. It could have been an accident. Are you all right? You wanted this? May I use your phone? for you. Look, I... When I spoke to Pauline, I said I'd be coming right over. I said I'd get a plane. And this is what I was intending. But you have to trust me. Just for the moment. I have to stay in Paris. Gerald. Gerald? Who is this man? What man? The man you were out with. We called you. We called you all night. Gerald, it's me. Does it seem likely? It was the man who rings the flat. What? A couple of times now. The man has rung the flat and put the phone down. Gerald, I know. I know what you're talking about. But I have seen to it. I promise you that will never happen again. I've been
talking a bloody fool, you know that. It's that when you see this little boy, you realize, well, I love him. I love you. We've both been beastly and careless of each other. Me as much as you. You forget why you first married and the whole purpose of your life. When something like this happens, you realize we must make an effort. Please, please come back to me. I want to see you tonight. Look, uh, you know I want to. For some time I've wanted to settle things down. It's just, I can't promise. I do have a problem. I can't leave Paris right now. Work, that's all there is for you. Eyes straight ahead, getting on. The idea of an affair even, how ridiculous. Not you, not Clara. Not the new model citizen, unthinkable. And even now when your son is lying there. Please, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I have to what go. can be more important than your own son's illness? I apologize. Just now I didn't recognize you. That's all right. I haven't seen you since you were at school. I know what you're thinking. It's not much of a life. I didn't say that. I wouldn't blame you. We're broke. That's why I'm frightened. I think he's done himself in. I used to love coming around to look after you. I remember being so jealous of your parents, because at the time I had no children of my own. And you had that lovely house in Warsaw. When they needed a babysitter, I'd volunteer. I liked your strictness. Was I strict? I wonder. I was allowed no excuses, even though I was lame. I was so bored with everyone's expressions of concern. I've still got a picture. Look. Look at you and Gerald. So loving. Yes. He was once a very passionate man. Does your father ever mention me? Dad? Hmm. Only in passing. Once or twice lately. But I haven't seen him at all. It must be four years since I last saw Michael. It got a bit difficult. At the... Well, when the business went down, then things between us got very hard. I wanted... I wondered whether he said anything to you. There would have been some confusion. Our names were meant to have been removed at Company House. Turned out that they hadn't. Michael kindly said nothing. Of course, our position was ethically correct. Also, he told me Gerald gave him wrong information. Oh, really? I'd never heard that. When he took over the firm. What's it called? Creative accountancy. Dad didn't get a true picture of what debts he was inheriting. If that was so when he found out, why didn't he go back and say something to Gerald? Because he's too nice. Will you stay? Just for this evening? I'd like to be able to talk.
Je vais quitter. Je voudrais bien. Ah oui. Ah oui. I can't. I'm so unhappy. What's that heresy they taught us at school? I don't know. Somewhere in the world for every bit of happiness, somewhere else there's a bit of unhappiness. It's called Manichaean. For every rise, there's a fall. Look. You think I blame you? You think Dad blames you? But he doesn't. If he took a dud firm, it's nobody's fault but his own. Even if he was given the wrong figures. Even if that's true. Let's say it is. If he accepted it, then as far as I'm concerned, that's his liability. And if he were here, he would tell you that's how he feels as well. He even has... This is the extraordinary thing. He has the piece of paper Gerald gave him with the figures on. Where is it? This is my father. He put it away in a drawer. All he said was, my foolishness. Oh, yes, I love him very much. And now what? We come here. For me. He came for me. He wanted me to learn Italian because I longed to work in fashion. He said, learn the business. Spend the summer with the family in Milan. With what? With what, Daddy? He said, I'll sell the car. So I asked him to come with me just to give my mother a break. And I got the wrong bloody platform. What? We're not even meant to be in Paris. That's not possible. We got the wrong train at Boulogne. I led him to the wrong fucking platform. I'm meant to be in fucking Milan, not in this fucking night. Where is he? Where is he gone? No, really, honestly, it's not to do with anything. You tell me. Somebody tell me. What do you want? What does everyone want? We sit here and eat dinner as if nothing's happened. Jenny! I'm going to go mad. Look, I'm sorry. No, wait. Look, I'll pay. And you? Oh, God, it'll take so long. Combien? Attendez, I'm fine now. Can we help? We're Americans. Oh, no, thank you. It was someone I didn't know very well. She really was crazy. Yes. Well, that's what happens when you try and help someone else. Clara. I'm at the hotel. I see. What do you mean? It's the middle of the night. Why will you only speak to me in the middle of the night? Wallace, I want to see you. All right.
you are. I had to bribe the concierge. I was frightened you might have gone. Did you find your handbag? No. It seems to be lost. What happened? Oh, you know. Just thinking it over. going? I have to go. Why? Business. I have business in Wren. <laughs> Were you sloping off? Uh, not really. Well, yes. I was influenced by people I knew, contemporaries. Friends who seemed to make a mess of their lives. I don't like mess, promiscuity. I wanted to avoid the awful sloppiness people get into. Friends from school became hippies, no shape to their lives. A lot of us now are tired of all the old excuses. Just get on with things. It's been far too much living off the state. People get soft. They always think there's someone who'll solve their problems for them. See? People must make their own decisions. If you do something, you must live with the consequences. Goodness. Is that what you do? Don't you agree? It sounds very harsh. You're not like that. Aren't I? No, I don't think so. Or if you are, you have another side. Do I? Yes, I think so. I've seen it. You've shown it to me. <laughs> Why are you smiling? You're my first naked Tory. <laughs> and you? Do you have two sides to you? I change according to who I'm with. And with me? I'm not telling you yet. Is that you do? What? That. Don't you like it? Now you're laughing. 
I'm happy. So. I wanted Charles breakfast to the government. Look, it's got a special code. <laughs> so are you heading back to your conference? No, I can't. I've got to go to England. My... What? My son's been ill. How do you mean? He had appendicitis. When? Oh, you know, recently. The night before last. You're joking. Why haven't you been with him? It's tricky. I only heard last night. So why didn't you go? I am going. I'm just about to go. I'm just about to call. All right. He was ill. He had an operation. Now he's all right. I don't understand. I wish I could tell you. There's a whole lot of things. There are things I can't explain. Last night I just thought, Oh, God, I mean, of course I wanted to go home. Are you mad? Of course I did. But the operation was over. Simon was fine. And I wanted to spend just one night with you. Was that wrong? You must tell me. Tell me, please. Look at me, Wallace. Was that the wrong thing to do? Simon, I've missed you. Your mother's back, friend. Oh, are you all right? Look, I brought you this. Imran Khan made a hundred. Did he? It was brilliant. Oh, phew. Pauline, there you are. How are you? How am I? Yes. Well, I'm fine. Hello, darling. I'm back. He's been so brave. I just can't wait to get him home. Will you tell me a story? Of course I will. Any story? As long as someone dies. Why that? So I can do it. Look. That's terrible. Your eyes are fluttering. I'm thinking, Dad. It's not the same thing.
Well? I think we should divorce. Oh, yeah. Why? It's obvious, isn't it? None of us can live in this atmosphere. Really? We always have. Look, I... Oh, yes, I can see it would suit you. I'm an embarrassment. I'm getting old. I've seen you do it to everybody. Ever since you were a girl. They don't shape up, kick them out. It's not fair. I'll fight you for Simon. No. Oh, yes. In the courts, in the papers, in public. I've got nothing to lose, but you have. I'll get him. You wouldn't. I'll tell them what sort of mother you are. That you didn't come home when he was in hospital. Or oh, did you? Doesn't look good. Do you want it? Very little. If you've got a man, I would like to know. Adam, there you are. How good of you to come. I was delighted. I hear you did well in Paris. I did nothing. Well, at times, and nothing's best. How do you like it? It's extraordinary. It's an independent outfit, of course, privately financed. Our job is to formulate new policy ideas and then sell them to the party. We're independent, but we're terribly close. This is something we've got pretty good at. It's our media watch. We're always on the lookout for bias. They know we're watching. It means we have evidence when we want to prove preferential treatment. Terrific. <laughs> and we're always poised for the right of the class. And that's the way she escaped. <laughs> Does it interest you? What? Work in communication. Oh, yes, very much. I'd love you to be my deputy here. I have a series of theories about women. Oh, really? This is my next book. I've done The Family. Now I'm doing this. You know, nowadays people pretend we're all the same, but we aren't, are we? No, what's exciting is how different we are. Women's behavior, the attitude, the gestures, the clothes, everything, express a fundamental need to submit. Submit. Uh-huh. Is that what I'd do if I worked here? Submit. Is that what please you? Would I be paid as well? No, very good, you're quick. I always knew we'd get off.
I know what you're doing. Hello? Who is this? I know who you are. Who is it? Clara. I thought this was a gentleman's club. This isn't a gentleman. <laughs> she has no sense of humor. Come on, get into your hands off me. I never understand why women can't take a joke. This way. The newly chosen candidate in the forthcoming parliamentary election for Birmingham South West, where she was born, politician, mother, businesswoman, and our future MP, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Clara Page. I think everyone wonders, those of you who know me, who've been with me, you look at me and think, ah, oh, yes, there's Clara Page. Always there, always confident. Perhaps you think, no doubt, she does a good job in Europe. But Europe's easy. How will she do at Westminster? That's the big test. Well, yes, it is different. Of course, it's harder, more intense. I'm ready for that. I'm looking forward to it. Because, you know, I think, in a way, you have chosen me. Because we all share a feeling that we're sick up to hear and guff and double talk and compromise. People are crying out to be led. Oh, yes, I'll always consult. I'll always want to know what you think, what you feel. But once I know, I think you deserve strong, decisive leadership. And as your representative in Parliament, I think I can promise you that that's what I'll provide. nice of you to remember me. Or oh, don't be ridiculous. That was a very nice speech. I just heard about Michael. I'm so sorry. I just want things to go on as normal. That's why I thought I'd come and help out today. Jenny said you were ever so kind to her. She wanted to thank you, but she couldn't find you. No, I had to go home. 
You know, in a funny way, I shouldn't say this, it's a blessing. Jenny got a great job in Italy. Michael, you know, he wasn't a happy man. Not for years. He'd been in agony. The odd thing is, now they've found him, we feel at peace. I'm glad. I don't mean for Michael. I'm glad for everyone else. That was fantastic. You must be very happy. I've never been happier. Well, people like you up here. They like the way you talk. They understand you. Good. I like them as well. Would you drive him back to London? I think I've earned a break. Oh, I'm going to spend the night at my hotel. Wallace. I was in the audience. Loyal admirer. I brought you this. <laughs> I've given it up. I bought another. I couldn't phone you because of Gerald. It's been torture. I've missed you. Oh, really? It's wonderful to see you. How did you get in? I read about your ex-partner. God, yes, it was awful. They fished him out the Seine. That's right. I see now why you were so hysterical that night. Do you know where the police found the bag? On the Pont des Arts. It hadn't been stolen. It was handed in. Go on, say. Say what? Anything. Like what? React. How extraordinary. I didn't go that way. Well, I didn't. Quick, quicker, Clara. Think up a new lie. Improvise. You're meant to be smart. You've committed a crime, insulting the intelligence. It ought to carry ten years. Look, all right, I'll tell you. How much do you know? I honestly believe this man Swanton was following me. He'd been trying to blackmail me, or so I thought. I was terrified. There'd been these calls. I tipped him over. It was an impulse. I so wanted to tell you before. Look, my darling, it was crazy, I admitted. I can't imagine what I've been through. I'm not a killer. I won't kill again. I made an honest mistake, for which I'm always going to suffer. Inside? Yes. Isn't inside enough? What you say about murder is what makes you so English. Now, you told me once people should answer for their actions, whether they speak in a posh voice or not. Wallace, what do you say? You haven't been to the police. Well, think about it. The whole thing's over. There were no witnesses. I have a son. Think what would happen to him if I went to prison. And Gerald, he's not a bad man. He just got in a mess financially and he chose a silly way out. These things happen. That's all. And you? Why should you be justice? Why should it be you who weighs these things in the scales? It's not right. You'd always be sorry. Bury it. Honestly, you must. You're corrupt. 
You have no character. Words come out, but there's nothing in you. It isn't true. You're lost if there's no agenda. And there's no agenda tonight. It's not true. Why do you think I came to your flat in the middle of the night after I killed him? I came because I needed you. It was the most terrible risk. I came because I loved you. Don't be ridiculous. I didn't know. Not then. You just needed company. Yes. At the start. I needed help. But later. No. It was real. I came to find you because I wanted to be sure. I've been used. You can't use people. No, no, no! Wallace! Uh, Wallace! Uh, please! Let go of please. me! Please! for you, I promise. There is a different side to me. That's what you once said, don't you remember? The side of me that's decent. You said it. Remember? Please look at me, darling. Can't you see? Look into my eyes. How can I be lying? That whole side of me is bound up in you. You know there's some good. You know that there's good in me. I've been offered a job. Where? In Burma. They need my light fittings. <laughs> Answer it, please. Yes, who is it? Hello. It's a man. Stop calling me. I told you, stop calling me. Will you never leave me alone? We'll drive together to London. When we get there, we'll tell Gerald everything. But Clara, you must tell him what you did. I will. And about us. He wants a divorce just as much as I do. Wallace. Time to be honest. If we're honest, we can make a fresh start. Gerald. Yes. It's 2.30. I know, I'm sorry. Parliamentary business. Can't tell you what. Do you think you could take care of the boy? When will you be back? Clara will be back in the morning. Ready? 
was fine. These are arrangements and backing of the familiar lineup, including Red Garland, and later tonight we'll be featuring Dizzy Gillespie, whose original 1948 recording of uh, Night in Tunisia has been requested by all those insomniacs out there. You killed Swanton. Gerald. You're having an affair. Listen. You think you can get away with anything. No regard for anyone's feelings but your own. You're trash. You're just trash. You're human trash. And trash belongs in the dustbin. <gasps> you stupid man. You pig stupid man. Why did you write him a letter putting the figures down? How could you? How could you do anything so incredibly stupid? Because that's what I'm like. I'm weak, and I don't think of the consequences. 